Morning everybody, Paul, Paul J. Doyle here, aka Polly on eBay. Um, this is one of the rarest uh, um, D&D related items that's not an actual uh, game product. This is uh, First Quest, the music. This is the cassette version. This is really rare, but I'm just playing this just to prove that yes, this does in fact play. Now the only working tape deck I have is in my car, so this is the best I can do for the moment. But yes, this this cassette does work. It's in great shape. You'll see more photos and everything. I'll also have in the description, um, I'll have in the description a link, or, or not a link, but a request for anybody who wants to hear this. And I'll send this link. Okay, here it goes. This is really, really extremely cheesy 80s music. Keyboard overkill. Um, there are some cool moments here and there, but they're very sparse. But it's all about the collectability, not about the music. Anyway, here it goes. This is the first side. We just heard the narrator. You know what? Hell, I'm going to rewind it so you can hear it from the beginning. On the rest of the way, my on the rest of my way home from work, real life work, you can hear the rest of this. Here's or hear a clip of it. It is a time of moving of other lands. The old gods were now moving, taking pleasure in bringing chaos and ruin to these once beautiful places. They could only be banished by the crystal chalice, one of the lost weapons of the Lords of Light. A brave band of heroes rode out to search for the fabled relic.
Blood Guard, elves, and a sorcerer's apprentice who lead them to his master's cave and the Book of Never-Ending Spells.
I think that's enough of that for now. Ugh. Some of you might like actually like the music out there, but um, yeah, everybody likes certain things, I guess. Anyway, let me turn on the light here. Here it is. Background music is the church, by the way. A little bit better than this. Anyway, here's the cassette. That's the first side. There's a tape. I should rewind it the rest of the way. And here's... Here it is. Here's the cassette box. When this, after the sun comes up, I'm going to I'm going to take some clear photos of these, and you'll you'll be seeing these in the in the forthcoming listing. Oh crap! Don't worry, I didn't break the tape. <laughs> full listing is in there. The only thing that's missing is the Jeff Easley artwork that's seen in, in the gatefold of the uh, vinyl LP version, which is a bit more common, but still rare. But this right here, this little cassette on the Achaeum, this is, this is a rarity level of five, with one being the most common and five being the most common. So in a little bit, I'll get, I'll get this up on on eBay and as said I will have a link to this on here if you want it it'll be a face it'll be a public Facebook link for everybody else in tears no doubt but here it is one of the most most collectible oddest uh, Dungeons and Dragons related merchandise this is even weirder than the uh, beach towels that they did back then uh, this did not catch on after hearing this music. It's wow, that's kind of a no-brainer, even though it was the 1980s. But anyway, that's it for now. Um, as always, let me know if you have any questions or concerns, or if you'd like to see more photos or hear more cheesy clips from this in full daylight. I work the night shift, so that's why I'm doing it this way. Okay, everybody, uh, this is Polly, Paul J. Doyle saying good night.